Hey, Marcus, Paul here. Got your scooter. Uh, it's just about 7 p.m. here. Um, I got your scooter sorted out. It took me a little over an hour uh, to get this figured just through process of elimination. Uh, I had to cross a number of things off the list before it finally brought me to the conclusion of what was actually wrong with the scooter. Um, your uh, carburetor is absolutely fine. The auto choke was originally my suspicion to the faults because I see that this is aftermarket. Uh, it's not plugged in yet. I actually haven't even finished putting your scooter back together, even though I've got it solved. Um, it's just it's the end of my day, and I just kind of want to go home. Um, so this will be ready for Monday. I just wanted to give you and I um, a walkthrough. So initially, this vacuum hose, which I've zoomed in on, uh, was the problem. The factory clamp that they had put on it was too big, and the hose was too big as well. This hose routes around to the carburetor and attaches right here, where you can see I put another clamp on. Um, this was one of three vacuum hoses that were actually the problem with this carburetor uh, not doing as it could or should. Furthermore, um, going through the transmission on the bike, let's put this up a little bit. Going through the transmission on the bike, uh, the belt is good, the clutch is good, the front variator is good, but it was absolutely filthy. There was rust on the front spline, and the backing plate was actually stuck to the back of the engine. Now, this is primarily where it should reside, but there should be uh, movement to play. It shouldn't actually be rigidly stuck on the spline there. Uh, the plate um, has teeth that align with that spline, and they are, for the most part, completely worn off. So. I'm going to recommend that in short order you get that replaced because it just means that the variator, much like the clutch, is going to start to slip and that's just going to lose power and overall the scooter is just going to sort of slowly begin to decline with its ability to perform for you. I'll wipe off all these dirty fingerprints. Um, in addition to your... Ow! That's very sharp. <laughs> um, when I took the front variator apart... These are called roller weights, and they are in the front um, variator of your scooter. Somebody has gone through the trouble of machining these roller weights. Um, I wish I had a comparison, but I took good ones that I have, put them in, and took these bad ones and took them out. Part of the reason why I took these out is because typically this roller will look like this, not like this. And the problem that we have with these rollers is the inner sleeve drops right out and what's happening is as they roll around in the variator I'm convinced that they're getting stuck on the wall and the clutch is unable to perform so that's in my opinion three things that are wrong you've got bad vacuum hoses you've got a fussy automatic choke plus you've got these rollers so scooter is trying its hardest to get you where it needs to go but it just couldn't do it because one or more of these rollers this one's loose too it's not coming out but I can feel it knocking around in there this one here is definitely loose. This one here is knocking around. This one is knocking around. Just gotta try to jump off the bench. Uh, and this one's okay. Um, was the issue. So there's three, the third problem. And then the last problem that your scooter had, and I, I apologize if this looks like, oh my God. But um, in the, I'll include a, a photo uh, to show you underneath your flywheel here. Um, the magnetic pickup on the flywheel was completely rusted away. And as a result, the magnetic pickup couldn't send a signal to the engine to spark on time, and therefore the bike would go da 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 So combine all these things together, and you've got one unhappy scooter. And I'm really glad that you brought it to me because um, I love problem solving, and it feels to me like I got this one solved. I haven't test ridden it yet. I will, but it's just getting late. I really want to go home. I'm hungry <laughs> and tired. And um, Sunday's my day off, which is tomorrow. And then Monday, I'll button this guy back together, take it for a quick sip. And I'm pretty confident this scooter will be absolutely under your bum after that. All right, sir, that's everything. I'm sorry for the delay, but I'm glad I've got this solved for you. Uh, your entire bill is $100. Thank you. Bye.